in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. <laughs> I know you asking yourself, what kind of fucking intro is this? Well, the fragrance that I have today, just presentation alone, doesn't shoot you back to 1983, when your folks used to go to Studio 54 wearing hot fluorescent pink, multicolored headpans and dog collars as fashion accessories, then I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. Either you're too young, you were too coked out, or you just chose to block out all those memories. Well, bitch, I'm gonna bring them back because this fragrance is kind of fucking crazy from start to finish. Roll my motherfucking music so you can find out what crazy shit I'm talking about today. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. And that's why I'm wearing this salmon colored fucking shirt. Because this is very appropriate for the fragrance that I have reviewed today. Shout out to Crystal Fragrances for sending me this fragrance. Because just presentation alone, I was like, yo, I gotta get this bottle in my stash. I can pretty much guarantee you that you will not find a crazier bottle than this. And not only is it a crazy looking fucking bottle, the fragrance alone is not for the faint of heart. If you're the type of dude, which is a lot of dudes on my channel, looking for some straight fire, crowd pleasing, panty dropping, moistnessness all over yourself, this might not be the fragrance for you. This is more for like the 7% fragrance snobs that actually wash me for entertainment purposes and they want a crazy fucking opinion about a crazy fragrance from a crazy motherfucker. And you gonna get that today. The fragrance that I'm talking about is by the house of Sarah Baker and it's called Jungle Jezebel. Jungle, if I'm not mistaken, Jezebel was like a, like a whore, right? So that's perfect for me. But look at this shit, she's got like, the sequin joint, like all these pillows and shit nowadays, it goes from black to gold. First of all, you put in a lot of thought and effort into that shit. I appreciate that like a motherfucker. Now let's open this shit because you got to see this fucking, I guarantee you, you will never see a bottle like this again. Look at this motherfucker right here. First of all, this shit is lined with like zebra print and shit. Yo, so flashback, it's not even funny. It's a blonde chick with a pink headband and she got eyelashes, my G, with a mole. So I'm assuming this is like Madonna or some shit. This is a 50 ml, but this is crazy as fuck. Clearly this is not a masculine fucking bottle. The fragrance is completely unisex and it's fucking nuts, but it matches this bottle. If you can deal with the loving hip hop chicks up in Dykeman with their bodies completely done, I mean, that should be the new next bottle idea. If you do the 100 mil, you add the ass shots, maybe some fake chesticles on this bottle, and I might just take it to bed with me. Just like a woman who just got her weave done, you can't really touch the hair because you'll yank the shit off and then you're gonna get a bald surprise, but you gotta be real careful with this top. Woo hoo, hoo, woo hoo, woo. Holy shit. This bitch comes out like a drag queen, bro. You talking about a big burly dude who just freshly shaved his face and he's got his big fake tits on, completely big sequins dress, huge hairsprayed hair, and he's coming out just singing to a crowd of a thousand people. This is a drag queen in a bottle. This shit is a huge blast of like Bazooka Joe bubblegum mixed with banana. It is animalistic as fuck. Fuck. And the animalic portion of this shit is civet, AKA butthole sweat from a fucking furry little shit bag. It's butthole sweat. You don't anticipate that a big prominent butthole sweat note is gonna be like, yo, super popping. Performance is fucking bonkers on this shit. So I give them that. This is not mass appealing at all. This is for the fragrance snob, which I'm really not, as we know but I like interesting, just like a crazy ass broad. You know she's hot as fuck, but she's burnt out in the fucking head, but that craziness just makes you come home for more. 
Yeah, that kind of situation I'm feeling on this shit. If I'm going to some sort of event where I know that there's gonna be a bunch of Cubano lovers, but there's gonna be a lot of bougie motherfuckers who think Cubano's full of shit, which I am, I would probably rock some shit like this, because one, I will stand out from the crowd like a motherfucker. Two, if I want to smell like a 1986 whore, not too far-fetched, I would probably rock this shit. My wife was not happy with this at all, full disclosure. I didn't absolutely love it. I'm not head over heels for it. It's not something that I'm gonna be like, fire shit, you gotta just fuck it, woo! No, let me put her weave back on because chicks don't like being without her weave. I don't wanna fuck up her self-confidence. Personally, I think this is extremely interesting, not mass appealing, not for the faint of heart, not for the starter. This is super pro level. You've reached the end of Street Fighter. What is it, Fortnite that you fucking kids play nowadays? That kind of shit, this is not for the starter. This is not for everyday use. This is completely situational for the fragrance snobs. I kind of want to hate it a little bit more, but I don't because I like the whole mind fuck of it. Is this a ball sprayer? No. I would not spray anal gland heavy on my balls. I don't need some random insects coming and shooting me in testicles thinking that, you know what I'm saying, my balls is some kind of weird jungle animal. We not in that vibe. It's gonna be definitely the coolest fucking bottle that I have on my stash. Definitely test it before you buy, cause, cause this drag queen is like six foot seven. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and these unsprayed balls. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is? It's your boy. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, holder roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would get in.